<laughs> Nana Baba Messi. <laughs> no, Charlie. Charlie, can you just imagine the president of the land and some cool summer top, you know, and some beach shorts and some Nike slides just dancing to Shatawale's Kolegono. Coach, in your prayers today, you must give a special shout to Nana Kalipo. <laughs> he has done the most. Nana Messi. Nana Kepa. <laughs> Coach, commit us into the hands of the Lord. Yowa, mwene suwa e ni masuwa na masuwa. Yowa zibaut. Wabe eko we, wake wan dabu shin. Ke hawa president nanado dankwa eko fwado. Asma e buwa program nem tui, e buwa tui wa adenche. E ni e biye. Ah, e ni e bili. Fya ke ene she, be waba ke four more, ke do more more. Four more, ke do more more. Nana, ke ne ke son le, be four more, ke do more. Wanda wo shin. Yo wa Woodward bag be mi. Ah, Woodward. Woodward bag be mi. Yo wa, ah, Woodward. Woodward bag be mi. Ah, yo wa. Woodward bag be mi. She male. Yo wa, ye komite le Woodward. E bag be dani magbo. Woodward. E bag cho ye ne bo dani magbo. Wanda wo shin man yo. E bag hiya wo. Amen. Amen. Surely. But coach, hold on a second there. Some breaking news that will interest you. So Bleacher Report Football is reporting that Ellen Haaland is been. currently on a flight to I've Manchester been. Been for talks with United I've been. I've been. according I've been. to reports in Norway. I've Bleacher been. Report Football. I've been. They've drawn him in one red Look, Bo Salzberg said, and another yeah, 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 Manche- yeah, 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 the other oh, half oh, is a Man United set. Somebody have signed blood tonic. What's the time? No, what's the time? Somebody have signed blood tonic. It's 2008. She's already come. Oh, wait. The 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 like, is he the point I was trying to make? He said, he said, he said the report came that he's now on oh, a flight. He's come already. When Ole did his press conference oh, at 1 p.m. today, let me tell you, he was asked the same question. He said, yes, the boy is in Manchester. Wait, no. No, he did not say he's in Manchester. We beg you, namely, you are not there. Only oh, didn't say that. I, I listen. Li- what I did you listen to? Oh, presser. Odum has blamed the grass for his defeat. <laughs> the sun, when it came out, the sun, when it went down, the rain, when it fell, the rain, when it didn't fall, the pole, because it was too rusty, the net, because a trampart was torn, his opponents, because their fans were shouting. Are you saying that Odum blames everything, Everybody the elements, by himself? By himself. It is never that, that in fact, in the so last famous thing. Odum interview, he said that, <laughs> listen, no. he said that the team lost because the defenders know. <clears throat> they were supposed to be playing three back. <laughs> and when they are in transition, they are supposed to go for it. But they were not going for it. And I was telling them, go for it, go for it. And they were not minding me. And now we are, I'm very, very disappointed in my place. I'm very, very disappointed in my place. You are really wrong for this. You are wrong for this. We will take that direction of our national teams. Comprehensive review. That is the only way forward to resolve this uh, penalty crisis that we find ourselves. Can you believe that? <laughs> eh? Penalty shoot that. Send the young court now yourself. Can you believe that? Send the young court now yourself. Then you break the whole nation out of their hearts. I'm broken. Eh? Eh? And the minister now becomes the victim in Egypt as if I kicked the, the penalty. Yes. I'm going to say, wow. Very professional fire. Me patch on me wall. Three questions. But hey. it's in one. No problem. More fire. Mr. President, are you interested in 2014 World Cup Commission of Inquiry Report? Well, well, really, well. The white paper. What? Um, the 2014 World Cup. That is the Commission of Inquiry White Paper. The report. Mr. President, please, are you interested? Because we've had we've heard nothing at all from your minister and yourself. More fire. <laughs> Mr. President. Last you, uh, yeah, no, yeah. No, that's that's no, no it is uh, three in one. No. So let me just put it. No, the, 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 this is the question. Then also, do you have the courage to move? for change within FA leadership in the face of gross mismanagement of the national team and the Ghana Premier League. 
Are you satisfied with the output of your sports minister after one year, Mr. President? More wonderful evening to everybody out there i'm sure you are very surprised by the very formal welcome to the show but it's been it's been a solemn week it's been a difficult week perhaps one of the most difficult weeks for me personally as a, as a sports journalist yeah it's only fitting that i i'm wearing all black today i didn't actually even plan it but it's only nice that i'm in all black today and to start off the show for those of you who haven't seen it yet, just head on to my Twitter at Kojun Ketia. I forgot. My name is Benjamin Inketia. Yes, head on to my Twitter and check out my little tribute to Kobe Bryant. He passed away on the 26th of January 2020. Yes, touching stuff. You know, I... I've been going I've been going through my mind like the whole week on why why this has hit me so much and I just came to the conclusion that if you know the Mamba, right? You know Kobe Bryant. Um I I, I possibly have never pictured him in a helpless situation, in a in a weak situation. Maybe it's why I'm still finding it so hard to believe that he's actually he's actually gone and not with us anymore. Because he was such a strong character. He was never the guy to show any form of weakness. This guy could take 20 shots in a game, miss every single one of them, and still have the nerve to take a 21st shot with 30 seconds to run. That's how resilient this guy was. So to all the families that have lost individuals in that particular helicopter crash kobe uh gianna bryant the alto belly family uh, and, and and the others big condolences to all of you out there i'm sure that it's a hard time but um the lord knows best but for me to for, for for kobe himself like i always say his life was just taking off his basketball career had been so conflict laden he had thrown everybody under the bus just so he could have his greatness and in the last year and a half he was spending it mending those relationships he had also started out on a path that reflected um the good deeds of what we are doing here as media men because when he finished his career he invested almost a hundred million dollars in the media setting up a publishing company setting up um, a production company uh, hiring writers so imagine the guy said that in his last lengthy interview he did with um, two of his former colleagues, Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson, that he was writing his newborn daughter hand like handwritten novels with like he himself was writing the novel. He he says he didn't want his daughter to wake up or to grow up to to watch Superman and Green Lantern and all that type of stuff. So he was writing novels that had guys like Michael Jordan, guys like Martin Luther King, guys like he, Kobe Bryant himself, Malcolm X, as the heroes in there. I mean, how many people you know have this type of talent to play basketball to that elite level and to also have the nerve to write a novel that they can feel confident enough to read to another person? That's that's how great he was. I mean, the the most the most touching Kobe uh, story for me has to be one practice session where I mean his practice sessions were legendary. People knew that. You would go to the the gym at 4 a.m. and he would already be there working out. So one time um, during the off season, Jason Williams, popularly known as White Chocolate, says that 
he was he was training at the UCLA campus uh, on the off season, hoping to keep in shape going into the new season. And that he had heard that Kobe Bryant was a legendary trainer and uh, his practices were legendary. So he was going to beat Kobe Bryant to uh, the practice. So White Chocolate arrives at the UCLA facility at 3.45 a.m., hoping to be the first to start practice. He gets there and Mamba is already putting up shots <laughs> at 3.45 a.m. And so after one hour of training, he says, you know what? My hands are tired. My hands are sweaty. My feet are shaking. I think I've done enough for a day. At that moment... It looks like Kobe is just warming up, throwing up shots, horse shots around the world. He's just literally going all over the place with his workout. White Chocolate said, you know what? I think I'm done. I can't do this anymore. This guy probably has the be best work ethic I have ever seen in my life. And that, for me, is what defined him. A lot of people see five rings, 18 All-Stars, 15-time um, NBA All-Team, and they think that that's what it is. But he always says something that when the practice is hard, the battle is easy. And that, that was his motto. When he was asked in his first year how he was going to go about the business of becoming the best basketball player in the world, he said he didn't know. I don't know. I only know that I have to wake up every day and work hard at it every single day. And, I mean, such was the confidence that even at age six, he was telling people that he would be the best basketball player in the world. Apparently, he was so obsessive with the way he said it that there were people who thought that six-year-old kobe had lost his mind like he was he was a madman and that's the same level of obsession he attached to everything he did we've lost i don't know we've, we've lost perhaps one of the greatest athletes to ever walk this this planet i i haven't watched an nba game since the 26th or since the 25th i haven't had the stomach to watch an nba game since i'm hopefully uh hoping that i, I will do that today i will be able to put away the pain and be able to watch because I, I don't know i've never felt this way about anybody dying before especially somebody that i don't know personally so we put away the pain today and we'll celebrate kobe bryant because the mamba mentality is about living for the moment if he was here i'm sure he'd be looking at us right now and scowling and talking about why we are all sulking about his death because he would want us to stay strong and keep it going but i'll just share with you one of his last interviews before he passed away like i said he was speaking to two of his former NBA teammates, Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson, he was talking about the difference between Kobe Bryant, the Mamba on the court, and how he had transformed himself after basketball. Just listen to this. And what is the difference between Kobe Bryant post-career and the Mamba, the killer? Well, you know, I think it's just, um, you know, a lot of the mentality is still the same. The industry just changes, right? So the same... Focus, same attention to detail. Um, you know, it's even more so now because you know when you play, you got to take time off. You got to let your body heal. You got to do certain things. You know, in business and in creativity, there is no off switch day by day because your brain's constantly working, right? So, you know, the similarities are are there. It's the focus, attention to detail, and you try to surround yourself with people that are just as maniacal as you are about their craft. And then the differences are, I don't have to put my body through hell every day. Yeah. True, true. Uh, some of the things I've seen uh, post-career that, that, that I love are obviously, you know, you coaching your daughter and then uh, your new fascination with uh, writing novels. Can yeah. you go into detail with those? Yeah, well, coaching the kids is, is fun. It just kind of came out of nowhere because my daughter just decided she wanted to play about two and a half years ago. You know, and so I um, started coaching her a little bit, and then she made uh, a local all-star team. And that's when we met the rest of the girls that are now on the team. And, you know, they all started at the real kind of ground level. But they enjoyed playing so much. It just kind of grew into what it is now. And uh, it's, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. And then the novel writing really started just with the kids. The kids can't keep reading stories that have no relation to them whatsoever. And I don't, don't mean just from, like, you know, diversity, like a color standpoint. Not only just that, but from the fact that they're athletes and there's no story that, that kind of speaks to athletes. So you heard the mamba i say rest in power to kobe bean bryant the guys are in studio with me coach christopher namely nathan kwa feds with our hero and daniel cranting I'll, I'll i'll see if anybody has final words for kobe and then we'll set the show off nathan no just just rest in peace that's it i mean he's he was an amazing player i mean i'm not the biggest basketball buff but everybody almost everybody knew Kobe Bryant was I 
the first time I watched him closely was uh, was it the 2008 Olympics? I think was that I, did he play that year? Yeah. 20 tw- at 2012 was when I okay 2008 2012 was when I watched him very well. And then all the legendary numbers he put up. I remember his last game. He was a fantastic person. And and when the story of basketball is told, they can never be told without him. It doesn't matter if the game was invented hundreds of years ago. It's people like him and Michael Jordan and LeBron James and all these other guys. Their names will be written, you know, their names will punctuate the, the story of basketball. So for Kobe Bryant, for us sports fans, it's just a tragic loss, really sad. There's a part of me that tells me one day we'll wake up and all is just a huge prank. Really I, w- I wish I wish I wish that, really I wish that were the case. But like we we, we 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 can we need to be sad, agreed. But I think we need to celebrate his greatness, and we need all we need to all take lessons from that greatness. That that the fact that he was ruthless with his work, he never he dedicated himself to the sport to the very end. That's the kind of dedication we need to give to everything we do if we want to become very good at it. So, rest in power, Kobe. Yep, friend. You want to say a few words? Um. Listen, I'm and I'm going to approach this from a very layman's point of view. You know, growing up in the village, um, I didn't know who Kobe was. I'm not gonna lie and say I knew who he was, but I knew the JC number twenty four and Bryant at the back, yeah. which was sold. It was everywhere. The market. It, was <laughs> e- it was everywhere. Yeah. And you know, we all just wondered who is this. But it was fun to wear. I didn't care who he was. I just wanted to wear a sleeveless shirt. Charlie, when your jersey appears in Tumu somewhere, you know you've made it. You know you're a big deal. If you go to the market, and those times, uh, that jersey was really in in vogue. It's like everybody was wearing sleeveless. Yep, you, yep, know, you go yep. everywhere you go, everybody's wearing some yellow shirt with Bryant at the back in number 24, and you're thinking, what is this? You know? It was later, later in life that I got to know that this was a great basketball player. And I was very fortunate because not that I watched him personally, but when I was in school in the U.S. at the time around 2010, it was then I really got to realize how much of a big deal Kobe Bryant was. Just how much people talked about him, how much people revered him in conversation every time. Uh, we talked about sports. His name was always, you know, g- popping up. And, you know, since then, of course, I've been hooked on the Kobe trail. And um, it's been fantastic getting to know um, all the great things he's done and to see him in the latter stages of his career, all the wonderful things he's done. And even after his his retirement, all the interviews he's been doing on daytime television, like it's really brought him closer to everybody. And this is why I have a problem with people who go very hypothetic- uh, hypocritically, go on Twitter or Facebook and start criticizing people for mourning Kobe Bryant. In this day and age, when television has brought and and the internet the, the has brought sports, people, people make it look sport. like you need to know him to mourn him. It, you know, it's like relatives of Kobe Bryant. You don't need to be relatives of Kobe Bryant to be felt or to be affected by his demise. Mm -hmm. Because in today's day and age, in the era of technology, people we don't know are much closer to people, uh, just like people that we know. It's like if you... Every day you don't interact. Inter- don't interact. Inter- 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 if you're on Twitter, every day you interact you know with a certain you- individual. You've never met him, but you interact with him all the time. And then one day you wake up, they say this person is dead. The fact that you never knew him personally doesn't mean you shouldn't be affected by his death because it's just what it is so i this whole th- idea of people saying you have to know somebody personally before you mourn their death it's just it's neither here nor there i just i just think it's very unfair tv the internet has brought people closer to us than any period in our time so yes we are mourning kobe bryant we are affected by his death we are sad that he's dead and we will talk about it and we will mourn and we will put it all over our Twitter feeds. You don't like that. That's your problem. Yeah, well. That's your problem. But don't stop or yeah. don't start mocking people yeah. for feeling affected by the death of celebrities. Because these people, see, these, day, these days, we live our lives through the lenses of the people behind the cameras. Yep. And we see people spend their lives all the time watching Big Brother and keeping up with the Kardashians. If one of them dies, I'm too... We, See, in this country, people yeah. have people have gone on television yeah. to cry because some character in some 
Kunkun Bagia show died or is injured, and then somebody goes to write, Oh, get well, Abby. On Twitter, that one crowd, we don't complain. The show now, you're shooting the bear two, three, five years ago. They're not showing it, and a character is injured, and somebody goes to tweet, Oh, get well, Abby. Oh, I'm so sad, Abby is injured. That one crowd, we accept. Then, what about reality? That's fictional. Yeah. What about reality? So, please. If you are not affected by it, that's fine. But those of us who deal... It's like the people we deal with every day in our lives. All the sports stars we report on. We may not have met them, but you develop a certain relationship remotely with these people. There's a certain attachment. And you have an idea how these things work. You watch a TV show. Yeah. You go and Google a certain actor. You start following them from then on. Because you like their show. Mm -hmm. If they die, you'll be affected. There are people by who started watching basketball because of Kobe. There are players in the NBA now who are in the NBA because of Kobe Bryant. Yes. So that's how know, much he's touched. And people. I saw this interview of, I mean, just seeing the visuals of him and his daughter. I saw this interview of him on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Yeah. Talking about his daughter. You know, he only has four daughters. Yep. Uh, not not to wholly ask for that. He has four, four daughters. daughters yeah. He doesn't have a boy. People, people keep and telling people keep him, asking about, yeah. him, pounding him all the time. Uh, you you don't have a boy now. Do you? Are you disappointed? You don't have someone to Absolute take after brush. your basketball life. And Absolute. that daughter who died, Gianna, and he, you know, Kobe narrated an incident where you know uh, they met a couple of people who were you know who <laughs> who brought that conversation up in front of her. They were like, oh, uh, do you sometimes feel that maybe? A boy would have been great to take up your legacy. And then the girl was standing right next to uh, the father. Uh, and the people were having that conversation. And she just said, no, hello, guys. Hold on. I got this. I got this. I got the Kobe, the Kobe legend. I am going to step up and I'm going to fill my father's shoes. Yep. And she was destined to play in the WNBA. Mambasita. And, um, um, unfortunate. Um, uh, it really for is me. very sad. For me. Uh, when I got the news, Nathan, believe it or not, I went. I was absolutely devastated yeah. because you know I'm not a fan. Hey, of you don't even like basketball that like much. It. But for him, I remember when I was in in the state. He was one of those people I always stopped to 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 go and look at or watch those big games after Michael Jordan and then Michael Johnson. Yeah? Magic Johnson. Magic, Magic Johnson. Magic. Yes, yeah. Kobe Bryant was the one who actually took basketball to the next level and for me i'm a family man you know i've got girls as well yeah i have so three you, so you'd, you'd really beautiful girls and when i heard the news i was like wow yeah this could have been me leaving my beautiful wife and your daughter and behind. my daughters behind oh my god i don't i don't know but may the good lord may the good lord strengthen his wife and then strengthen the other girls yeah. it's going to be difficult yeah Tough these time. girls them just their like daddy. what eight months or nine months very difficult without their daddy being around and for for me my heart goes out to his wife and the three other girls left mm. Mm. and the good lord take good care of them and then may they do the things that their father would have done yeah in life mm. and the good lord bless them mamba daniel you have a final word it's, look, it's sad. It's sad. I, you guys have said everything. Just, just rest in peace, Kobe. It, it's, it's not something I want to dwell on a lot. It, it, it really dampens my spirit. Yeah. It's, it's life, life has Charlie, life I've, has I've spent the whole week sidestepping certain videos yeah, and certain clips. I can imagine. He died. Said, yep. Too young, man. Yeah. 40, Too Forty-one. Young. What? And this is strangely, this is actually like the best part of, of his life. life. Yeah, That's what man. I'm saying. This is his prime. Yeah, man. This is, you know, this is because his prime. Kobe off basketball was actually a more likable fellow. Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, he's, he always he, says that yeah. the guy who was on the court trash talking, always yeah. ultra competitive to the point of, he's, I mean, rubbing some of his teammates wrong. He, he wasn't the same so guy off nice. the court. You know, when he so talks, his... His interviews are extra oh, revealing. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's something. Somebody well. sent me the video yeah. of the helicopter. I looked at it and I deleted it straight. Yeah. I didn't know it was that, but when I you saw the ag downloaded the sequence. it, I saw the thing. No, no, no. Ah, can you imagine him yeah. and the f everybody in the yeah. helicopter? 
Tra- looking at the at daughter, daughter with tragic, up to him, tragic stuff. And him telling her it's, it's gonna be tra- all right. You know, you know, it's 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 really heartbreaking yeah. stuff. But like everybody said, you know, it's got all of us reflecting. W- yeah, yo, yeah, if, you, if something like yeah. that doesn't yeah, get you to reflect, then nothing will get you, you to reflect that, again. That. That's like, the honest truth. I mean, it, like, I mean, I. We were on TV, Nathan, right? Yeah, yeah we're, we're doing yeah. scorecard on Sunday the, the when the news started. broke. Yeah. For, I think for like the last 20 minutes or so, was, <laughs> everybody was not themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we didn't, we, we literally forgot about what we were. Daniel was on talking. I, I wasn't listening. Nathan <laughs> wasn't listening. Daniel was done talking. Nathan didn't even know he was done. Yeah. And this was on live television. Yeah. It, when, it, I, when, I, when, when I first saw the news, like, you know, I opened my Twitter feed and then Sports Center is looking at me and then breaking. Kobe Bryant dies in a li- I just threw the phone away. I'm like, leave my face with this yeah. fake news. <laughs> and then I'm like, nah, I can't be. Let me <laughs> let me just look at it again. Ten minutes again. And, and it, it literally it literally up. was everywhere. Yeah. And I'm like, you don't mean, mean it. Oh. Well, that's that's how it is. Like I'm saying, he probably would want us to have finished mourning him after the first three days. Yes. Time to celebrate the Mamba. Join us with your thoughts via text and WhatsApp 0549-986-996, 0549-986-996. The show is Sports Panorama. Charlie, I have a few stories to tell. See, the Kobe stuff is nice, but the other parts of this show are nicer. Before I even go on, a big shout out to a couple of the players that I saw at the Super 2 Clash. That caught my eye. Charlie, fair shout out to Matthew Kujo. What? <laughs> Aqua nah, nah. Aqua hard drink. <laughs> Charlie, see, the, the guy, eh, he played with me, they dash him so much money, say, if he dash thousand CDs to charity. Hey! No, Charlie, be serious. See? No, Matthew Kujo, we are heavy. And a big shout out to Mudasiru Salifu. Promise you. Hey! <laughs> See that guy. He only that, played for 30 see, minutes. That guy, if he had stayed on the pitch, eh, <laughs> like problem. The game would have ended like 4 1. I'm telling you. Accra, every time he took the boy, I cry hard to folk fans, including the man who was sitting beside you, right? <laughs> he was sitting beside me in the stands. Charlie, when the guy took the boy and it hurt his mouth. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> and he's he supposed to be a defensive midfielder? Yeah. Ooh, that's that's with, some with, that's some silky yeah. feet for a defensive midfielder. Very skillful, good Sweet eye. Sweet left foot. Yeah, Charlie. No, the guy was serious. Yeah. The guy, he was my he was my discovery of the day. Mudasiu Salifu. Hey, Asante hey. Kotoko. Imagine if he had no, stayed on Charlie. the pitch alongside Justice Blay. Yeah, man. Charlie, <coughs> see, that, guys, Justice Blay. Justice Blay is Blay. a problem. The Let me catch a What? Let me catch a you know, you know, you know. Most of the time, eh, I insult footballers who have elaborate haircuts. Do red, green. <laughs> see, know, he me, can dye his hair me, rainbow <laughs> colors if he wants. Charlie, for me, for me, Blay gets into my books not because of anything, but for the celebration, the flip. No, Charlie. Oh, no, you know, see, I've liked, I've liked it and saved that. See, see honestly, look, yeah. if you're a player I, I, and you do that summer song, he did, my friend, he did, he did the Agahoa. Look, I, the I, Agahoa. I, I knew we were in trouble, and permit me to say we, Charlie, is hustle for Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I knew we were in trouble. Ghana football podcast, people refer to themselves. So the BBC reporters say I support Wolves, and they say I'm shocked. We, we, I'm shocked. Fine, look, fine. I knew we were in trouble when I woke up in the morning. First tweet from Kotoko was a picture of Justice Blaine in red hair. Oh. <laughs> and, the, and the caption was red alert. Hey. Then I said, yeah. <laughs> Charlie. Fabulous. Charlie, but the people, they celebrate power. See, I was coming back from the stadium, man. They literally had a, an no, entire see, lane cleared see, for them see, see, with, with, see, uh, with dispatch see, riders. You see, no, Charlie, you know, no matter fans, how well Kotoko biggest, played, the no matter biggest. how well Kotoko played, we have not said the fact that penalty shouldn't penalty. have been given at a penalty. True. That True. is what we should be talking True. about. That's True. It's it it Chris, no, never. Chris, I, I oh. absolutely let's, get let's, you. Let's, 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 see, but that's, myself that's, But that's not something you can take back. No, no, I'm not taking it and back. And it's yeah. painful. But it is that so unfair in yeah. this modern game yeah. where our referees and are not, you see, we are changing this game for the better. Yeah. So if we are doing that for the better, of the, or for the betterment of the game, mm-hmm. we want our supporters to clearly understand the rules of the game and how the game is being played at this current moment. There was no way that was a penalty. All day, it was, education. It was mm. never a penalty. Yes, it has to so focus. we should be educating our fans that yeah, look. We have to. So, Nimli, so please just so go on with the experience. What are the rules? The, yes. These are the education, okay, in the modern game. It is very clear that when the defender makes himself bigger mm-hmm. by stretching out his hand, 
and the ball strikes his hand directly from the from an attack from an shot. attacking shot. Yeah. It's all day a penalty. Yeah. But when the ball takes a deflection like we all saw, mm-hmm. the House oh. of Oak defender using his foot yeah. to block the ball before the ball hitting his hand. It is mm-hmm. never a penalty. It's there in black and white. Because it hit a third party. Exactly. So for me, I was shocked when a referee who's in my view had done so well, he's managed the game so well, so properly, awards that as a penalty. You see, coach, I, I, I looked at the replay and then I looked, look, it was w- from the stands and, so and, and, and Benjamin, I'll be honest, we all saw the ball touch his hand. Yes, we, we didn't it. see, we didn't see it. I, I think it went too fast. Let's yeah. give the, the referee the benefit of the doubt. It was too fast. Body, it was too fast. Everybody saw the deflection. No, because no, look, no. look, I, 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 I don't think it was that. No, 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 maybe those who are watching at home would have seen it. Exactly. But from the stadium, it was hard to see. Where I was, you could clearly see all the House of Oak players rushing on the referee to tell him that, look, this is never a penalty. This cannot be awarded as a penalty. And for me, you leave, you you take Mohamed Alansan off yeah. or out of the way. Yeah. That boy is a simple save made by the goal because there was no power. There was nothing in the shot that could have even warranted with that Mohamed Alansan the ball ending into the back of the net. So for me, Kotoko deserved to win. But we need to start educating our supporters because mm-hmm. if we are changing the game and we want people to understand the way this game is being played mm-hmm. currently, mm-hmm. in the the rules, in the in the in the this vein is of no way a penalty. In the in the vein of um, sensitizing supporters, I must say a big shout out to our cry hearts of folk yes. fans. Look, look, the way they comported themselves, nah, Benjamin. I could, I, what? See, you you don't get to be honest anywhere. with you. <laughs> they comported themselves so Let's, well that and 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 and, and, I, and I will call it right here. Asante Kotoko fans can take. A lesson or two from a crowd hearts of folk yeah. fans. The truth is that Kotoko fans they were literally they were literally ready to some get violent. Of, some Kotoko they, fans. They were, not they were, all they were, Kotoko fans. See, when, when you no, support when you the club, that, nobody's saying everybody. Obviously. Okay, fine. Okay. Once you're, you support Kotoko, we are we are painting you with the brush. <laughs> yes, we are painting you with the brush. Somebody threw a bottle onto the pitch for uh, a, a dead ball that was taken I against saw, them. Saw, 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 just saw, just one dead ball. And you see, and, and this is what uh, I'm just drawing the contrast between that and the late penalty. A crowd had to folk fans could have decided that they were they that were was never a penalty, penalty and, and that to react, good, but, but they, they took it they took it in good faith and then they, they saw out the penalty there was no violence after the, and they moved. after they just moved on like nothing had happened and i think that everybody can learn a lesson from the this. benjamin i want to yeah say this to the ghana football association look the manner in which they handled the ticket i still think it was so bad that could I believe the big men are behind it. I think they need Look, to dissolve the media standard. I believe, I believe the big men mm. are behind it because I believe that they virtually gave the tickets out to people of their choice and to sell the ticket at that outrageous prices at which the ticket was being sold. How can you be selling a 20 city ticket for 100 Ghana city? Mm. And you should be asking yourself, if this is the way, is this the way we are going to change the game? You could clearly see and somebody like, holding like, close to hundred tickets. And like I said, where the, did he get the, that the, from? The media stand, which is supposed to be, to the media stand, which is supposed to be meant for reserved the, for media people. So many people. I, 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 I can tell you that that stand was made up of maybe ten percent media, media men, of course. And, then, and then everybody that, else. That, that, that section, need, I think, it needs to be cordoned off and cordoned off. Exactly. Exactly. I don't understand this. I don't understand. And the way we are doing like, things, it's so bad. Journalists, eh? journalists are fighting with regular fans for for seats that should belong to general oh man come on i i thought we were beyond this i, I really thought we were beyond I mean, this they be should honest. manage look they should manage the ticketing issue that uh, maquette and his people we trust them we know they'll do a decent job please this cannot repeat itself yeah it was so bad that yeah. the 20 cities the 30 cities i mean somebody holding close to 100 tickets yeah and he, he was bold enough to be selling 100 cities, 150 for 20 and 30 cities. Yeah, I was looking at it. Ah, let a VIP stand, mm. but it is clear that he was on his he, business, he, it was given to him by those in charge. Those in charge of the ticket they gave because how can he alone be holding close to 100 tickets? Where do you see that happening? Yeah, 
let the media let the media stand be a media stand let the vip stand be a vip stand let the popular stand be, be so. a popular stand that's just how these things work let's turn our attention to this week's round of matches um some games have already gone on internalized kim Pfizer has ended 2-2 <laughs> two, two. Two, yeah no oh, inter- yeah. he ended 4-2 four two. Four two. oh allies came back and what the game that was the character tony loco spoke That's about last about four two is how it ended yeah oh but but goodness. you see yeah. I, I, like, wow. I stopped following that two. Yeah, me too. That two two, and it was left with like ten minutes. Yeah, and that's why I think Allies. it ended two two. But you see, Allies have got problems. They have. They need look. You, they, they led twice. They led two zero and blew a two goal lead, only for them to come back and win four two. For and me, Tony Loco keeps last week. I was, he was talking about character. Look, Mister no, Loco, I beg you. That's why you get paid. Teach these guys how to score, or if not, get better players. Yeah, because apart from, from Vic- look, listen, apart from Victoria and Daniel, who has they, five goals, they don't have a proper set. Do you so know how flat. many goals they've scored? They score f- they've so scored flat. ten. Yeah, but has scored half. Out of the ten, Adebayo has scored half. Charlie, fifty percent. Yeah, somewhere. No, and for me, no is an improvement. This is for one manager. I understand. Yeah. I'm only saying that last week, for example, they were absolutely blunt. They had scored six goals Olympics. in six matches. Six in six. Not Today you scored for and eight. had considered twelve. The, so yeah, you let's look at them moves. across the next five. It could just be that Pfizer overcommitted and allies were smart. No doubt about it. And they've I'm not a, played any of the big guys yet. You know, they've not played any of the big guys. Like Pfizer, Olympics, uh, Sharks, uh, Sharks. Uh, they, they are yet to play Diana. Uh, Brekum Chelsea, Hatsavo, Kumasa Santi Kotoko, Mediama. So if you are struggling to keep, keep a clean sheet against the very yeah. lesser manageable teams, teams yeah, yeah. surely for me, knowing Coach Loco, who is also a very good friend, um, I'm a bit sad because you remember those days when he was coaching Amidals? Mm-hmm. One thing that saw Amidals look so good was the fact that they were very so mean good. as a team. They never, they hardly give anything away. And for him now to be handling a team that seeks to be conceding goals game after game, he should be a worried man. I know him very, very well. He should be a worried man. And I'm very certain that uh, when the window is open again, yeah. the Ghanaian transfer window is open mm-hmm. again, he should be looking at getting some good defenders to at least tighten up the back of the team or else they'll be in serious trouble. Well, talking about serious trouble, it was a drink cup <laughs> at the Akun Park. <laughs> Hey, our good friend Lion, Fatal Dauda. In fact, if it was not for him, it would have been like six nil or seven nil for them. Karela FC took Lagos City to the cleanest three nil. There'll be more of such defeats. <laughs> there'll be more because there'll be more. yeah, there'll be more because I have I, I have watched them train. I have said here that the only plus they've got is their head coach. I think he's a very very good. Coach. Goran yeah, Barak yeah, yeah, If you go and you watch the way. He conduct his training section. That's Taleba, like, that's like, like okay. Even when the Serbians are PE teachers and things, they they typically are worth their yeah, salt. Yeah, you know, yeah. they, they they have they know. You work with the Serbian PE teacher. Before? Oh, I have, oh. I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, friend, who I have? Where? Oh, what's his name? Back in my days in the Division One, I have. As a your days at Division One, as a I was a TM. Yeah, so like I was saying, manager for which team? That's that's not what we are talking about. <laughs> and then the manager for and a team and then, that has collapsed. And then you hear me. Which team is this? Relax. The team relax. is not. We won't relax. I'll tell you. I'll tell you as the program goes. You haven't. Look, I'm, wait, you want to be on my case? come to you. You so, that keep quiet. So, there are things coming to, on your neck. See, you relax. Well, relax. Relax. I'm not talking to you. But GD law. Law. Yeah. So um. Yeah. So Charlie, yeah. They, they got they got battered three yeah. you know, some way. Some way. There'll and be then, more such defeats. There's there's Kotoko versus Liberty Professionals. Still, they're playing this game behind closed doors as well. Yes, yes, yes. This yes. is the last second game. Of three. The, the, second, the second, second of three. Second of three. Yeah, stars. Ah. 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 No, 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 three or five. No, no, Wait, no, snake with, snake with. <laughs> No, but I like I like Diabolo Boys FC. That, that's the one I would drop last week. Dia, Diabolo Boys FC, aka Snickers. Charlie. Uh, uh, no, guys, who wins this one? Liberty Kotoko. Kotoko playing without their fans. If you've got to go with Kotoko on this one, haven't you? You don't trust Liberty? Oh, it, well, of course. I mean, Liberty, Liberty got an away win at Wafa. See, but you have to admit, Wafa, I, I, a little watered now. Yeah, yeah, you can tell transition. that they've lost some some power. They've never it's failed a, to replace I get the point. quality. But, but you have. know, you see, by the point is that Kotoko are high of beating Hearts of Oak. Mm. You'd want to chain two wins together. Of course, there are issues brewing on the side. 
with Sonny Yakuba in this I won't play, give me $150,000 kind of thing. But I'm happy with Mark Sokonedu's stance on that. He says the player cannot play if his mind is not in it. Of course. They need to sort out the issue. Yeah. You know, so, they need to sort so it I out. I think that they will be high off that kind of victory. I don't know the kind of back line that Asante Kotoko will play because it looks like last week they looked generally okay. Um, he was very unhappy with Ampim Da Costa three weeks ago. And I have a feeling that until Ampim Da Costa improves, he will not be getting into <laughs> <laughs> funny antics of always trying to tackle and go down and all of that. I, I, I'll tip Kotoko. You know, even though I think Liberty will go there and play under pressure because there aren't any fans, I just think that Asante Kotoko might have stay, staying power and, and they might win. Of course. That, They've by, got by the young team. man, isn't it? Matthew. The young man who came and the has of hook players were all the way. I saw, I saw that sequence has where has he just hook blew hook. past yo, the cross. Yo, yo. No, but massive shouts to Richard Atado. That day. save was brilliant. Woo. What What do you think I would have told my players to do? <laughs> Let that young man. Uh, that was, Let him do that. 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 Let you don't bother. It's a legal thing to do. Yeah, he has to feel the sensation. <laughs> just to slow him down. <laughs> I like that. He has to do what? Feel the sensation in his bones. Look, <laughs> you see, this is how he is. And he's 16 years old. He gets on Remi- the pitch. Remind him of his age. Of course, very typical of Coach Marshall Kunidu. He sacked the boys up. The boys come on the pitch. He walks towards the boy. Get on the board, do this. And I would just look at if I'm the one in charge. Every 40,000 will be seeing me. Instructing, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> he has to feel it. He has to feel it. Which is what we is not encourage. Ah, I'm not saying go and hurt him. Oh. I'm saying feel give you the, the sensation the to feel his the bones. sensation in his bones. Clearly remind him that he's 16 years. Days. You don't you have some cotoko to do that. You see, ah. when you when you tell you and you tell a Ghana oh, Premier League forget to it. make a 16 year old. We have seen the likes, is it? We've seen the likes of Ama Senegal, Ajimendria, Opelia Boaji, Imane Lampia, Imane Lama and these would have you see Dankwe and Co. I've heard the names. I've seen him. 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 He and Isaac Owusu Ninja, they used to have this combo. Oh, yeah. Fasronami Fafom. Yeah. <laughs> See, Fasronami Isaac Owusu Ninja was, was the guy. Rambo versus Ninja. Isaac Owusu Ninja. Rambo and Ninja. So Ajimandria was Rambo. And you, Isaac Owusu really Ninja. Ninja. And even uh, Ajimandria and then Steven Tete, those yep. days. Yeah. Yeah. Ajimandria dealt with everything physical. They've really taken Tete. me back to the days when I used to look, buy a Kotoko Express. The House of Oaks Center. The House of Oaks Center back. Mohamed Mohamed Lassan. Look. He should be He's benched. lost form. He should be benched. Oh, out and Ovoka. Ovoka. Ah, the, le- the left back. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't know. He's too defensive minded. Ah, Rabi is not Zuko. Did you see him waiting for the pass? No, 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 no. Did, no, no, no. Oh, wait. Let me learn. Oh, oh, until oh. this game. Let me learn. I, mean, I, 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 I thought he was one, one, he was one of their weakest was the links weak, in the game. One of the weakest links in the game. Look, simple. Every pass in given the first to him. Did I'm any coming. of you see I'm Emmanuel coming. Jeffy? I'm coming. I'm no. coming. Because Every pass given to the house of Oak left back. Saw him waiting for the ball to come to him. He was lucky. If it had been Manuel Jemfi playing on that side, Jemfi would have dispossessed him about four, five times. Like All would have gone to go. No, switched in the second half. No, 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 no. Jemfi was on the right. Yes. Jemfi no, was on the right in the right, first half. He was on the right on the left. No, no, no. Jemfi was on the left. left. He played against uh, the house of Oak Captain Rada. Fatal. 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 He never went to the uh, right, 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 the, side. right yep. hand side. But what I'm saying is, Mohamed Alansa thinks he's got no competition. And you need to bench him. The house of captain himself. Mm. Fatal. Fatal. You need to bench him. <laughs> if I'm their you boss. Form, it's true. Oh, you, you see? But the person on the bench can't do a better defensive oh, no. job. Bonnie can do a better defensive job than That is Fatal. why these guys look so complacent to them. And they are not because, playing. Because they know that there's no competition. There's no competition. Going for it, I'll prefer Bonnie, but defensively, Charlie. And then your your what was his name? The central and Sabotre and his partner Sabotre de Bomi and Sabotre and Efutu. Look, Nettie, Efutu has a first player on the day, and then tactically, no, you see, and that's my problem. That's my problem. Look, 
you need to have big game temperament. Yeah. Look at the body language of the Kotoko players. Yes. yes. Every single one of them walked into that game. They were like, up for this, it. This Look, is our stage. Apart from, apart yeah. from in this, in is the second, this is the second Super mm-hmm. 2 class I'm watching where Hearts of Folk need 60, 70 minutes to warm up into the game. No, but Hearts of Folk was the best no team time. from the beginning. This Hearts of Folk should have wrapped after the game. After the first 10 the minutes. Yep. After that, yep. Kotoko yep. settled. Yep. At, at least they had the chance. After, after, uh, you know the painful thing? You know the painful thing? There was this Kotoko fan. And if you remember, there was this Kotoko fan sitting in front of us. And he was saying, look, after 10 minutes, Kotoko will get one shot on goal and, and the momentum will change. Yep. And that's exactly yep. what happened. Yep. Mudasiru runs into the box, fires one shot, and all of a sudden, it's Kotoko's game. The and one thing that I also like didn't that. get from Odom was when he took his best passer of the ball and asked him to go and play in the number 10 role. Oh, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel and I were Ubutu, talking about this. Ubutu, who left could not it, even left tap him? Efutu. Who cannot even control him? And then he puts, at the point, he puts Aveime Drogba that's, on the left wing you see, and put that Daniel Efe that thing made it through it. the middle how to literally play a man down and Emmanuel Tete uh, Nete, Nete who looks so good on the ball no. in, his in the second half for somebody, for in for the some, second half in the first half he was poor no he was poor because he was poor because the across of folk shape was completely wrong hmm. and Odom eventually worsened the shape in the second half <laughs> Look, oh, where I was sitting, I told the people that if Maxwell does not read this and put two or three in the house of Fugan, so when I saw Maxwell doing his tactical switch, I said, ah, look, 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 look. <laughs> the man is going to cause the damage. He, true, true, true. He brought the young boy and they failed to make him feel the sensation. <laughs> then, but that save was what? Yeah, God. from, from a David David, a, a David, 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 like yeah. save. Oh. The sequence was good. The run yeah. past the defender, yeah. right footed cross, the, the snap header. header yeah, and, yeah, and you see, and this is one of the things I don't like about a lot of our uh, Ghana Premier League players, especially the full backs. And I notice, and this is a 16 year old. When we talk about football IQ, that's it. The, when he went past Koji, he raised his head. Mm-hmm. Yes, of course. He's 16. He's he raised his head, his right take foot. the pass, and then, and then it, yeah, whip the pass all the way back and to Keita. the Kenta. pass was yes. perfectly yeah, weighted. It was, it was inch perfect. How I wish. In the same instance, I have seen that. How I wish. Fatah Mohamed. Fatah Mohamed against Liberty. True into the penalty box boom, boom. with space to pick a pass. Raise your head. No, he's looking down. Just hit the ball back across. You know, the you know, things is just playing it into the danger area. Something it shouldn't Amintar. be. It reminds me of something Professor Minta once said. I was at a, I was at a program where Professor Minta, Joseph yeah, Minta, yeah, yeah. he said when he was coaching doors, he used to take the player through sequences. Yeah, there are yeah. sequences. So, sequence. so it, that's what I mean. Now, the coaching is done in sequence. We repeat patterns. Yeah. So, he says, full backs will go, get in the box and pass. Get in the box and pass. Now, they were playing a particular game where his left fullback does this amazing run mm-hmm. and he's found by the number 10. The left fullback is in on goal and he stops. And then he starts to, like, he stops. His brain actually shuts down and his actions are, wait, wait, what do I do? That's the goalkeeper. He's off his mark. Do I pass? Do I shoot? And then he stands there, turns around and plays it somewhere else. <laughs> you know, to be honest, you can tell a good footballer from a bad one if they keep looking at the ball every time yeah. they are playing. Yeah. If you are, if you are somebody who is a professional, you don't, you don't, you, you don't even player. need to look at the ball. You know where the ball is at your feet all the time. Yeah, like, Charlie, but shout out. Yeah, Charlie. the second half around the 60th minute yeah. mark, a long ball is played in nette chests and Charlie that some gra- like, some look on some the bullet pass. pass. <laughs> That's the game. That's the pass of the season. That was the best pass of the season. That's the pass of the season. Awarding passes for the match. Yeah. Tidal was a bullet that pass was across the ground. I've I, I, I made Rogba. Rogba. It's a bullet. Yeah, but at the, the same, same time, time, let's also comment. No, see, I usually, I usually don't that. like Wahab Adams. That block. But that day. I bet if you are playing against Vehement Wahab that day. Oh, no, no. Oh, what do you think? The hats of folk fans completely roasted. You see, I kept on telling you. I kept on telling you. A very drug is too slow to be playing on the wings. He's too slow. Hearts were literally playing the entire second half a man down. It wasn't working. Now, here's a case where in the second half, they were playing long balls through the middle. Why wouldn't you put the quicker a free, leave yeah. him on the wing, on the wing and, and allow, the target allow the uh, Let me tell you a to have a one-on-one. Fact, have. Very much Drogba should be starting from the bench. The, this is why. The fans totally so. roasted him because, after see, the game. Wh- in the first half, when he was the one leading the line, he couldn't lead the press. Mm. You see that the cutter cost two center backs. Yeah. They were, they were the just having around. a field. He couldn't lead them. So I was telling myself, where can I put him? 
Because from the way Hearts of Folk was uh, we were playing, you needed a player who start the press. Yeah. Yeah. He couldn't do anything of the sort. And a free was quicker. And when a free came on, you, you or was brought to no, the he middle, started, you could he see that again. he started forcing the quarter defenders if, to make mistakes. If, if Odum wanted somebody quicker through the middle, he should have moved a free to the right hand side and put Esso in the middle. Yep. That's what I would have done. Esso is more hard working, he's more industrious, yeah. and he's actually better. Obviously, he's not a better finisher. But, but it's better doing he, those and, other Yes, and in, 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 in terms of creating chances yeah, too. He's there were times where I thought after a free had done He was that, isolated on the right hand side. The whole match should have no been sense. given the chance. But look, anyway, that Chabba. was our, our version yeah. of their class. Yeah, so. But Chaba was a quality game. Yeah. It was a good game. It was a very good game. It was a very, very good game. Adam said that the game was nah. He said the game it was says the players were playing like they were afraid. No, but that's after that's after don't expect such game to be that explosive. He said he says that it the the quarter call Matthew Kujo came on and showed everybody else how to play the classical. Uh, as of allow him to do that. That is the verdict of Sadiq Adams. He says he says Matthew Kudo, the sixteen year old, Charlie, had more guts than all Charlie, the other guys on the Charlie pitch. Charlie, no, ben, ben. It has to do with the technical ability of the boy. That is what he does. And and and, oh, and, and he said it. He touched, he, he touched does. on the fact that the game lacked technical quality. Yeah, he says, so he says to him the game lacked technical quality yeah. and wasn't as exciting as games of Accra Hearts of Oak and Asante mm. I mean he has the right to say it because he scored yeah. a hat trick in this tie in the first half. So, so look, to do it since, what, Charlie, 17? free advert. Now, Bufruit at the stadium, man. Eh? <laughs> no, one. Charlie, we a guy. Hey, you, the you, you, you reminded me. What? The Bufruit at the stadium. Charlie. She brings it like 10 minutes into kick. When kickoff has started, uh-huh. 10 minutes into the game. Charlie, hot and fresh. And this guy has, he knows the time. He has, he knows where she steps, <laughs> where she sits. <laughs> the moment she touched down. No, oh, no, no, no. no more pick that in. I heard he bought five CDs worth of both. Now, now we didn't even notice it was five CDs before we realized it was <laughs> gone. <laughs> it was it was gone. We we're having ourselves a both fruit party when the Classic. Super Two was going on. Like Let's do quick predictions of the remain the remaining games for this week, and then uh, we'll jump on to something else. Dreams FC versus House of Oak. Coach, it's a deal. Difficult one for House of Oak. Yeah, it's very a very. Dreams tough say one. double agony. Double agony. It could be. It what, could be because look, that? surely. If the if the way Mohamed Alazan played, he's gonna repeat that. No chance. The captain, if that is the way he's gonna play, no chance. And and and, and in uh, for my very good friend, please Edward, put 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 your best player in the position where he can influence the game for you. Simple. That's Anything that. apart from that, dreams to win. Nathan, your good people are playing. They are going. They are at a cross sports stadium against Wafa. Oh, only, only, oh, only, oh. only flavor. Oh, Charlie, yeah. only Sabola. Only clean. Like, only Shatawale. Can you, can you sing one of the songs that their supporters sing? That one, Joe, my son, my Joe, my thousand. Only, only one man thousand. I said, man, the only fans I do. They are an absolute treat. <laughs> but on the pitch, look, I think that Olympics are overlooking something. Glatzin Awaku, he's Fantastic. a brilliant player. Yeah. He virtually coached them on the pitch for 90 minutes. Wow. Telling them, pass here, move here, give me the ball, stand still, calm down, let's go. I was just watching him. All his years of experience was 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 there. Again, again not to interject, but I asked Tadik Adams on the tracker whom the best player from his bat was. And he said Glatzin Awaku. Yeah. Yes. He says Glasson was the best is is his best player from it, it, from the across of play. Watching him, but I I do think that they also need to improve in attack. Mm. When I watched them play into allies last week, I noticed that they were generally very solid. They managed to kind of neutralize Adebayo, but I think that they will have to figure out how to deal with teams that are silkier because Prince Kofi, I don't know what he wanted to do. Flavor. After for, Chris, after the first forty-five minutes, he sets his team up to invite pressure yeah. from Inter, and I thought it was really odd. You have a goal. I don't know what he was trying to do. Play on the break, but clearly they were not playing on the break. So, I I think I think they will beat Wafa tomorrow by a lone goal. Somehow the confidence when you listen to them speak, they are confident in what they want to do. Prince the, Kofi, the whole world. <laughs> the challenge now is the quality around Awaku, and I think they need more quality around him. But I, and, I, and I, I think I, they will win. I really don't know what is wrong with Clote. If if he's fit to go, he didn't play last week. Yeah, he didn't play last. But, but if he's fit to go, I think this is the game that he could use to start scoring goals for them before this. So who you, who you have for this one, Nathan? Great oh, Olympics. Olympics to win by a goal to nil. Hey, Charlie, what for? Here for power. What? Olympics Miami team. What? That's my team. 
Okay. But we will stay in the league <laughs> next season, but then the boys would have gained the Maturity necessary experience. They will discipline people again. Friends, as gold, they will see dwarfs. Oh, no, no. It's time to return to winning ways. Oh, we are so winning. Be a chair. Yeah. Back to back defeats. That's how we attempted that. Imagine if Ebusuad Dwarves beat as good as Linkley. Back pass. No, but imagine if Ebusuad Dwarves beat as good as Linkley. Hey, no, no. We sack the coach. I'm telling you. That's a Shari Mambo Anga. We sack Mambo. That is if Mambo doesn't doesn't go after the players first. But that's the thing. Ashgo are still dealing with an assistant manager that has not been made even interim manager. Oh. They've left the job of the manager vacant. They're still looking for a manager. And the assistant coach has been taking care of the team all this while. They started well. Unfortunately, yeah, back-to-back defeats have since followed. And that's not the way Ashanti Gold wanted their season to go. Because we all... Uh, I personally expected them to fight for the title. And I think they can still it's do it. Not right now, what's not helping them is the fact that the captain is not scoring. And when you have... <sighs> A player like that nature, who has carried the team for all the years he's mm-hmm. done, not scoring, it's a bit of a problem. But I think that if there's any perfect opportunity for them to begin to win again, it's against uh, Ebisant Dwarfs. Dwarfs, of course, got their first win of the season last weekend. Then somebody came to donate 200 Ghana CDs to the whole squad, which generated a Chale, whole... <laughs> Chale, but I, but I what, what power would they do to, would they do with 200 CDs? Huh? Uh, so like go, let, 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 let me uh, let me ask you right <laughs> if you're, no, supporter, so if you're a team right if you're a team right a squad and somebody dashes you put 200 Ghana what will you do with it <laughs> oh, use like bags water. of sachet water eh, for training you can buy water for two days yeah okay, okay so yeah one month thousand <laughs> and buy water. Use one. the problem if the you're, problem, you're, problem you're many people water. have with that story is that the donation came from a journalist and then they made a story out of it <laughs> That a journalist has come to then I get your could donate to a nigga and I'm a team. Imagine. <laughs> Why are they? <laughs> okay. So, uh, so but I, I, I don't think they will have enough in Obwasi. Mm. Uh, because even that defeat against Brickham Chelsea yeah. at home, your last home match was a massive mistake. And uh, I think that this is time to rectify it. So Ash Gold to win that by two goals to nil. Daniel, there's a cracker for you to crack. Adriana Stars versus Mediama Sporting oh, Club nah, nah. at Doma. Dear Lord. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I think, I, honestly, I think Adriana will nick it. <coughs> By virtue of playing at home, mm. they will mm. nick it. I, I'm not going to give a scoreline, but Adriana will. It will, be, it will be an absolutely tasty encounter. I and think then, there will be an upset, though. Possible. I think, I think Mediama will go there to win. Mediama are, got what They have what it takes to go. For me, I think they are literally the, the best traveling side in the league. Yeah, they can go them. The best traveling side now is... Because no, because not, 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 not by numbers now, by reputation. Yeah. At least in the last two seasons. They will come to your home ground and before you know, they are yeah, leaving they with go. the 1-0 scoreline. I think they have what... They, if they can believe in their own self, they have what it takes to go, and go there and beat it. There's a derby, I think. Bechem United and Brekum <coughs> Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea to win. <laughs> Chelsea to win? Yeah, yeah. Chelsea to win. So now we El- Elmina Sharks 11 wonders. Yes. Score draw. Score draw. Yes. Sharks to win. Yeah, Sharks will win. You I'm know, score that's draw. the funny thing. Many people don't notice it. Elmina Sharks are currently, they, along with Brickham Chelsea, have the best run of results. Since losing on the opening day, Elmina Sharks are unbeating in their last five matches. Mm. The problem has been oh, that they, they don't score out of many. those four, only one has I been a win. win. They've drawn the other four. And that's a typical feature of your champion yeah, side. Very if difficult you saw them to in the down. NC competition, they went like nine matches without conceding with Richie Tata uh, in goal. Now he's joined uh, Kral Hartofuk and they're still water side, very difficult side to beat. And I think this is some of the, these are some of the things we don't highlight. Mm-hmm. Managers who have a signature. Yeah. Everybody knows Wakim's team is going to be difficult for you to score against them. Yeah. It's watertight. He's like Jose Mourinho of old, keeps it tight. He doesn't care about... <laughs> doesn't and he has need more than a goal to win. Yes. <laughs> and I goal saw goal them, the first time I saw his team was against Ashanti Go in Obuasi. They came there and they <laughs> played it watertight and won by two goals to nil. Yeah. And Chinebua Benjamin, they called Neymar. him Messi. That guy's a star. He, he's, a, he's, a, he's a definition of a star for a team. Uh, Without him, they, they have no oxygen. They him on the touchline. He is going to take on like five players all by himself. Without Wonderful him, player. Without him, they don't have oxygen. Wonderful player. So that's it. 
as far as the Ghana Premier League is concerned, it's game week seven. The uh, league is already flying by. The show, of course, is proudly brought to us by Betway. Wow. Now, Liverpool are sitting pretty on top of the table. And Betway has made a decision to pay all outright bets on the Reds to win their first DPL title since 1990. That means that even though there are more than 10 game weeks left in the season, if you've backed Liverpool to go all the way, you are a winner. With the second half of the season well underway, there are a number of exciting outright markets that you can still bet on, like the season's top goal scorer, the best promoted team, and which team is most likely to finish in the top four. Visit betway.com.gh now and bet on all the action. Well, I have news for you today. It's an extended show. We are going all the way to 9 p.m. And guess what? It's deadline day on the Don't Call Me front. So you know what is going to happen. We'll take a quick break here. When we come back, I'll be telling you about the love story of Fento Tahiru, his love story with Coach Nimli, and then we will be doing some some players. Stay with us. Travel the country in just 30 minutes on the U Tour bus. I'm just coming from the home or from the palace of the new Yana. This is our story being told. Journeys to explore. From the plains to the greens to the scenery to everything. Ah. There's so much we need to do, you know, to boost tourism around this area. Ooh, that guy was just getting up. Learn and indulge in the culture and lifestyle of the people. Shows on City TV every Saturday. Welcome back, Charlie. Something happened in the midweek. Eh? <laughs> hey, see, see me. Eh? I, 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 because of these things, I, I know that I have disciplined myself in a lot of ways. I had itchy fingers. Itchy fingers. Itchy fingers. But I said no. I won't tweet. Yeah. I'll wait. And I'll bring it onto the big platform. Hey, you Charlie, but we send the guy go JFA meet Charlie? the press. First meet the press. See, those of you who don't know what I'm talking Shout about. Shout out to him. the photographer. Charlie, Fe go to go to Felix Romark's Twitter handle and eh? mm -hmm. Felix Romark. Mm -hmm. If you can't find it on Felix Romark's Twitter handle, go to Abna Onyameche's Twitter handle. Mm -hmm. You will see Tumu John Snow. Oh, uh, in a in a Tumu John Snow trying to lay the ice. Hey, <laughs> they're not easy. Yeah. See, Charlie, when, when I saw when I saw the picture, this was the caption that first came into my head. You know, like the way friends has talked in the picture, it's like, Oba himane da hima misima. You know that you know that pose. Relax, then 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 you know Akosia Akosia Amus pose. Eh? It's, it's like, oh, bra friends die sir. <laughs> No, see, and it's not like Fen didn't go with somebody from here. Oh. Apparently, Akosu Amu was sitting in Jamaica, and Fen says, Fen says, Akosia, ah, oh, man, I didn't know yes, I'm uncoming. Kwana, hello, <laughs> Charlie. Are you there? How are you? <laughs> oh, bra Fen, Jaisa. Hey, bra Fen. <laughs> <laughs> no, friends, this is dedicated to you and Akosi Abu. All right. You know, say money no be problem. Honest on the block. All right, I'm back again. The city. 
you know what time it is. On 97.3. Alright, what's up? Listen. I bang him and I hear him and miss him up. Me she all she been on me throat, so wind you now. I come off and I touch it in me, yeah, I'm in me now. And we see my reason, I do real day, you ma. Oh, pie boy, what did I do a bridge, you ma? What did I do a bridge, you ma? Bra friends. Ma, they ma me pa ma. Bra friends. Ma, I guess I'm in the jail. Hey, do you want to know? Tell her, after who you do, who you do a croquet him? Oh, fair, fair. Oh, fair, fair. Oh, fair, fair. Oh, fair, fair. Hey, 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 then I could just oh, brave friends, ah, brave friends, <laughs> men, yes, sir. Yes, 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 talking football. <laughs> you are what? Talking football. Really, yeah, it's true. With, 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 yeah, it's true. Yeah, with, yeah, with, yeah, with, yeah, with yeah, those no, remove your mouth. You like you, you like to defend yourself a lot. Today I want to hear you defending yourself. What what were you telling? Because I hear the young lady was sitting like ten rows away. And then you said there's a backstory. Hey, back, I need to remember. Please tell him tell, tell me. Nathan said there's a GFA meet the press. Mm. Hey, who wants to go? Fent was quiet. <laughs> then I saw my Twitter. I said, Oh, it'd be like a cozy. He said later, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> is it Charlie? The guy hasn't been able to defend himself. Or he's just laughing. Ha 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 Remove your mouth. Remove your mouth. Oh my goodness. Um, what is good news about this? I think I, I think I think I think I think I need to direct my Twitter following to the picture because they don't know what I'm talking about. What is good news about this? <laughs> okay. Hey, Christopher. Find Bruno Bruno Fernandez. Don't change the topic. <laughs> Remove your mouth. <laughs> Christopher <laughs> Christopher. Yes. See, the sports panorama production crew, eh, they are wonderful. Wait. Have you seen the picture? Look at the picture. Oh, Charlie, look at it. Charlie, look at it. Charlie, look at it. Coach, oh, Charlie, Charlie, look at the picture. Look at the picture. Charlie. Charlie. Oh. Hey, but, but the sports panorama <laughs> listeners, too, why are you like that? Charlie, they have, they have, they have unearthed the picture. <laughs> Resurrected the picture. <laughs> Archaeologists, Tali. <laughs> see, see, Akosia, Akosia was. That's a nice photo. Akosia was a nice photo. Akosia was in a trance. Oh, Tali, vibes. You know vibes. Oh, vibes. No, <laughs> boy, Vibes. Actually, you see, the, 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 oh. the conversation. She was dazed. The conversation. Dazed. Lile Lashos Lile. So, what you people are doing? Oh, is it necessary? No, Taliban friends. See the way, see the way friends pose. You know, be small vibes to go off on the picture oh, inside. Oh. See, Oba Oba him at Oba. I said, I'm chill, baby. You are. I said, I said, hello, lady. Oh, him and me a tycoon. What's it? How's your life? Baby, I'm free, but no. I said, I said, I said, I said. I say, I say, John Taylor, John Boo, John, John, John Love, be a Mahazi. Oh, you see, I'm colorful. I think of course, oh, Nana Wolf, I say, eh, me, I could just say, eh, brown friend, hey, brown, and then, 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 and but I was sitting next to her, so we are mm. friends in the media. We had a very mm. lovely, nice mm. conversation mm. about football. Look at the way how you are sweating. Look, are sweating. Are sweating. You. Look at the way you are sweating. Charlie. I'm shook. I'm shook. It's, it's, it's what? 18, 19 degrees in the studio. It's a, it's a, but there are beads of see, sweat on see, your forehead. See, see. Me. Thank you, Tahu. Me, 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 me. This picture. <laughs> wrong with it to make Akusia go dazed. <laughs> she was dazed. But she wasn't dazed, clearly. Oh, hey, this picture. Yeah, yeah, clearly. clearly. You are silly. It's silly. Melt. You know melt? No, 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 no melt. 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 There's a, there's actually like a, there's a photo, there's a, there's a photo next to, <laughs> see, there's a photo taking immediately after this photo. So and the expression see. on our faces were different. Oh, okay. Because no, then, no, it's okay. it's yeah. Okay. Where is that? You from? know, but you see, we went there to fully.
take in whatever Keto Kriku had to I, say. I, 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 can, I can say that I can see that the two of you were really taking it in. Taking it yes, in. this was this was before the program started. Why is the Facebook live camera zooming in on the photo? <laughs> Lovely stuff. Uh, why are you before like you know, this? You know, you, know, you, know, you know that This is you see. Oh, no, this is no, not fair to Akushia. You, know, you know that Kidian. You know that Kidian. Uh, is listening to the program. Kidian, Mister. She love over right? the moon now. Mm. Kidian, Mister. No. no. Ah, melit, melit. Akushia amu jiwutu. Akushia jiwutu. Hey, na na ingesi. O subanye, na na. Why you ninja na? O subanye, o subanye. I'm really proud of you. O subanye. I'm really proud of you. But it's a good photo. Okay, it is absolutely perfect. Not photo. because perfect of the characters timing. in it, but the, photo- the photo, the photography is excellent. Yeah, I like, I like it. I like that I'm wearing a red tie in there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And a and a and a and a, and a navy blue suit. Because yeah, is smiling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, really she nice. having a a, a really. She's a good person. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, explain this is a good a good person. Yeah. Yeah. She's a good person. <laughs> and and that, and that and she's a very good professional. Hey. Yeah. Are we don't go in this? Very soon she'll become a very good lawyer. Uh, so, no, I I'm cases. proud of you. Okay, we are also proud of you two friends with Tahiru here for Oh, we are proud of you for Making her days. See, we are proud of you that you are proud of Akusia. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read some messages that have been coming through, and then you know what's coming. My bell is already out. So, um, Leslie Ate from Osu says, You guys forgot to talk about Daniel Free. This guy needs more game time, and trust me, he'll be our next dumb bot. A sweet feet. Um, this one's from a jury baiting from Dan Soman says, Is it true that Chelsea has signed Nobodino from Brazil? And Nobodinovic from Croatia. Well, I'm sure that the Chelsea people will explain this. This one also says, uh, this one is from uh, Mike from Ogo. He says, Coach should uh, assess Muda Series. I think we've gone through that already. Uh, this one also coming through says, um, Okay, I, I don't know where that's coming from, so I can't read that. This one here from Abrantia Jojo from Greater Estates says, uh, Good evening, Ben and the team, please. No more Chris made me laugh out loud and the people on the street say it's we. But it's a drug called Nuno what? Nuno Numo Cocaine. I think that's what you're trying to say. So please let coach pray for my team ask now. Lexis from Lashibi says, Oh, coach the prophet in football. You do or ask for friends, you will pee on yourself today. Coach, it's good that you are married. Like I will holler you my sister. Hey Charlie! Time out. <laughs> Time out for Grace Nimbly. <laughs> Edwards from Ashima said that I cried when I heard the sad news of his death. Mamba made me like basketball. Um, this one's from Zuta from Ashima says, Man United for the next 20 years will only be a documentary club. For my team, Arsenal, we are okay with um, our signings. Okay. This one also says that uh, Kobe's death hits us differently. I mean, I start, I mean, starting to watch the NBA, he's one of the guys that made us love the game we don't know him personally but his death hits us on a different level r.i.p to the mamba but by the way southampton are eating good tomorrow liverpool will fall robert from sprinting robert is the only southampton fan that we know in this country that yeah robert needs to come to the premier league one day this one from jude abaga from madina Charlie emma is in madina anybody who wants to go and see him <laughs> says that at last bruno oh Oh, now Chelsea, no, no signings. How are we going to compete for the top four with Batman and Tammy? It will surely end in tears. Things fall apart for all Chelsea fans. This one is from Chum Berima from Tantra Hill. Says that, uh, good evening, Ben and the team. Liverpool will win by three goals to nil. You never walk alone. This one is from Bellerina Siedu. Says that the best way to go that's loan... The to go. Uh, that's the... Okay, so it says um, that's the best way to go. Loan deal a player... Hey, loan a player... A, I can't make it. <laughs> I think it was a loan deal for a player, player. and then you know you <laughs> test him to see if he puts ah, himself back. Charlie, to a message near Kakrawa, you, you you send us messages all the time. Eh? Write the message clearly, small. Yeah, they say you should confirm. Mm. Yeah, Somebody is asking you a question. Can you confirm whether Mertens has signed for Chelsea? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Is it no. Uh, <laughs> signed Bobodinho. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be getting to that again. The, the, trans- the transfer window still has how many hours to go? It goes at 11. Yep. Yes, yeah, so it still has 2 hours and 40 minutes. 
uh, Frank Lampard said Chelsea's transfer window is 95% percent done. Yep. So there's five percent chance. Yeah. Keep fingers crossed. I believe in. You believe in miracles, eh? Yes. To happen. So it's biggest show in Ghana. Delano from Apenkwa in Koforidia. Farouk headliner says, "Why at all did my team Chelsea fight?" Uh, for the transfer ban to be lifted if they were not going to sign anybody in January. What cry is this? R.I.P. Kobe, you say. This one also says, I hope you guys talk more about basketball on Sports Panorama, if not for anything, but remember Kobe. Ike from Tema. Kelly from Mayera says, tell Coach that Bruno has come, so he shouldn't worry us again. Bruno, he says, he says that, Coach, today is a deadline. When is Haaland coming home? Kwame Chroma from Odoko. Kobe won an Oscar. Like, who becomes a basketball who becomes a basketball all-time great, retires and two years later wins an Academy Award. That's crazy. Mamba mentality. Um, this one also says that I was so sad when I heard it about the death of Kobe Bryant. Couldn't eat the whole day. Uh, Steven from Accro City. Um, Ted Nati from Odasis. My Friday nights are always cozy with Sports Panorama. Please, where is Raman Osman? Oh. It's been... Sorry, but you are, you are missing. Raman Osman, there. He's dying. Oh, when was the last time he listened to Panorama? I'm shocked. Raman, Raman Osman, Osman. He has grown a full afro right now. This is Raman Osman. He's jamming or he's been going to watch If Chelsea If you, if you call Osman. Raman Osman, the first thing... Hi, in it. Hi, mate. Hi, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yes. you're doing good, in it. <laughs> <laughs> this one here uh, says, I think I share the sentiments of namely looking at the way the referee gave the penalty away was funny. It wasn't a penalty under any circumstance. This one also um, says that phobia will always be phobia. I remember the prophecy you against the Kotoko coach. Uh, against Kotoko, the coach lost. The team should not forget. Set pieces are part of football. Make use of them. Score goals with them. More messages coming. Uh, Felix from Adenta says that Tell could Chris that all his Woodward bag baby cries were not in vain. Finally, Bruno Ebashia. I had to literally run home after work so I could hear what Fent has to say. Ole must still go. Uh, Oko from Madina says that don't agree with Coach that um, if the ball hits your leg, okay, I think you are disagreeing with the penalty decision. Um, this one also uh, from Banana. Um, the Nubian from the Nubian Fashion Center says hats were clearly on top, but their heads dropped after the Kotoko goal. They didn't make any attempt to put the goal behind them or raise their game to equalize. Um, this one here is from Mangala Jesse says that Mudasiru guy, eh? Kotoko must build their team around him. He was the Fernandinho for Asante Kotoko against Hats. I hope CK is monitoring him. This one here, uh, is from Awudi Bernard from Marina says, Ben, everything must change. Uh, everything must change. Nothing is forever. In fact, I was not enthused with the performance of Kotoko supporters and that abnormal behavior by their fans must stop. Kudos to you and the team as well as Fred Tete Jabano. Oh! Customer! What you need to know is that Tete Jabano is a transfer expert. Charlie? If you didn't know me, I'm telling Fred. you today. Fred breaks, <laughs> the, Fred, Fred, Fred breaks the transfer news before guys like... Um, I mean, all your transfer... I mean, he's the guy. Fred is the guy. Charlie, transfer expert. So keep your messages coming. 0549-986-996. So it's transfer deadline day. And it's not just Bruno Fernandes who has been moving. A lot of activity on the Ghanaian front as well. You know what time it is. It's don't call me time. A don that also is don't call me time. One place, man, for sale. One ton of cheap, don't call me, don't call me. We they loan this player a thousand dollar, don't call me, don't call me. For the striker, we can consider, don't call me, don't call me. No, they see you use Tina Boga, don't call me. Now one can't shake us a piece of ghost. Now one can't get drinks at Tevez. And then you coach you can't come at home. I don't know what's up. Don't come yo, don't come Let's go. It's don't come time. Don't come yo, don't come time. It's don't come time. Don't come yo, don't come Catch that. Tell me about that. Don't come yo, don't come Catch that. It's don't come time. Don't come time. Time. One place, man, for sale. One ton of cheap. Don't come yo, don't come me. We they loan this player a thousand dollar. Don't come yo, don't come me. For the striker, we can consider. Don't come yo, don't come me. No, they see you use Tina Boga. Don't come yo. So ghosts are sense of tourists. Now one can't shake ghosts a piece of ghosts. Now one can't get drinks at Tevez. And then you coach you can't come at home. Charlie. Every time I hear this song again, shout outs to Keche. 
the lyrics are on point. <laughs> so who goes as Sunset Taurus? Now in time she goes to say Prince of Goose. Hey, and Charlie. don't now. So I Nana. I thought the last time I saw no, you at you know a friend's father's funeral, Charlie. Yeah. Your man was light, was lighting it up, <laughs> telling the DJ, uh, telling the DJ that they should play Obinyani Mio. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mean it. I said, wait, please take Obinyani. Why? Are you sleepy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> guys, Charlie, a lot's been happening on the transfer front. Let's let's begin with the biggest uh, one. Let's start off from the camp of Manchester United. Hooray! Bruno Ebasia. Bruno has compensated. For Ellen Haaland, coach, <laughs> it's good what? to see that so what, the 55 million euros that could possibly rise to 80 million based on add ons. Yeah. You have your man, namely, you I have, have <laughs> your man, <laughs> Benjamin. Benjamin. Nah, sir, you have a number, <laughs> please, re- please request it. <laughs> 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 I have a number. 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 I People like Fent you. <laughs> Who called me? Hey, do you know who Chelsea is bringing on board? I did not say that. Oh, is he? Why you do this? Thing? <laughs> you to the Didn't you call me? Didn't say Chelsea was going to do. I'm going to sign Bobodinho to match up with. <laughs> you know, Look, 35 yards, 40 yards, 50 yards, 60 yards, 50 yards. You know, Shot, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is a replica of Paul Scholes. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, then we have nothing to fear. Oh, then we have wait, nothing to fear. No, wait. About <laughs> Bamini. 30, 40, 50, 60, <laughs> KF, 70 yards. About Batshot, no, yeah. What? Charlie. Bruno Fernandes. Do, you know, do you know what is ya? Yeah. <laughs> Net. <laughs> Bruno Fernandes, look, he brings flair. He brings perfect vision. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you see, when you see tomorrow at five thirty, eh, Ole will unleash the young man. Bruno, Bruno, tomorrow. On but tomorrow, you guys are playing wolves. I worry. I worry. I worry. I worry. There's wolves. I worry. I worry. There's Bruno. They talk about wolves. Look, when we're kids, when we say, Mene Bruno, ni Track it. Look, if you come, you will kill all you. What? What's the name of the. You see, the wolves goalkeeper, he's from Portugal. You know, he's the Portuguese. Patricio. Patricio. He's aware. He knows, and it is clear. Like tomorrow. It is, it is clear. Yes. Look, he has arrived. In Kebwake, he will come home. You want to talk about Hala? Have you seen the bad clause in that contract? 60 something million. Is it? Look, ah, oh, what? Car worry. Oh, car worry. Is it? Good word. Is it? Me? Good word. Good word. I will cry again. In, in, in during the summer, uh-huh. jo, jo, Sancho, Babashia, Sal Nugues, how no more, cool, but how no more, how no more, Manchester United, you know, who ensure that we qualify for the Champions League at whose expense? Ah, who is on who is sitting at top four? Uh, Man City. Tam, Tama Abraham. Tammy. Tammy, Tammy Abraham. Bashwai. Bashwai. Talirafi. Kafi Naka. Christopher Kafi Naka. Bamini. Bashwai. 
Time out. Time out. Are you leading your team for top four? It's finished. Christopher, come on. Come on. honest with you. Bruno Fernandes is the catalyst mm. that United were missing. Mm. I'm mm. telling you, no two. The two. Irish cream. Is it when? Is the missing ingredient? Say, allow him. Is it, allow him. This is not Ruganio. <laughs> allow him. This is Bruno Fernandes. Talk. See, talk. To all the Manchester United supporters listening out there, anytime there's a product from Sporting Lisbon to Man United, anytime <laughs> there is a product. From Sporting Lisbon to Man United, Daniel Kawori, Kawori, zero <laughs> came. Hey, we saw it. Nani Almeida, we saw it. Mm -hmm. Now it is Bruno Fernandes. Bebe came. We saw it. I don't I come in. Look, from Sporting look, Lisbon. I don't come in. I don't come in. This. I, I don't come in. It. The highest. What? Kawori. Bruno Ebashia. Bye bye. Bruno Ebaye. Do you know what tatale is? I'm not interested. Tatale is what? Fried plant. Fried plantain. I'm soft, aware. See Fried how plant. soft and sweet sugar it is? Do you know tomatoes? Cockles that nearly. Do you know that? Please take us to the world of chemistry. Tomatoes. Biology. Tomatoes. Daniel, mm, no, biological name. name. You see, for you, uh, the oh, now Bruno Fernandez like is tomato. He's a bi he, he, No, you see, go and go and find out. I won't find out. What Tell me. The sweetest substance on earth. What, did, what name is you just messing again? Tomato cocos Daniel. Mm. <laughs> that is what Bruno Fernandez <laughs> is. He is the tomato cocos Daniel. <laughs> Of the United squad, the <laughs> but coach, what happens to Woodward in the wake of this transfer? You were asking for his head, you now see, he has produced the goods. You cried, he missed out on Haaland. Mm. Kulibali should have come, but he, is it when they throw? They see, they, there was some attack at Woodward's house. You you saw that <laughs> the bonfire, the throwing of fire. He's been warned, so he's told the supporters Sancho, Kulibali, Son Guess, Summer Signing. You see United. They will qualify for top four. Mm -hmm. We'll qualify tomorrow beating wolves. We'll come, we'll collapse the bridge. We'll, uh, bridge. To, to Matu Kokus. We have got Danielli. <laughs> to Matu Kokus Danielli of our team. Charlie, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the word on Bruno Fernandez. Nathan, just snap uh, thoughts on Bruno Fernandez. Let's I, move the discussion on. Well, I, I I would like to say that United were lacking creativity. It's taking them 18 months to take a decision on a player. Big ups to Socha. Um, I just hope that. Now that he has somebody who can create, he can give the person a lot more responsibility and stop this Jesse Lingard like sort of behavior. Lingard Pereira thing. Because during the week, Social himself got upset with Jesse Lingard and it tells you that United need to take giant steps forward. I just hope that they'll be able to add to, to the team. Uh, the other bit of transfer news concerning Man United is that United are looking for a striker on a short term basis. And the stories are beginning to oh yes a lot of momentum. Odion Igalo. Is Igalo. The challenge, to, the challenge with that deal could be where Igalo does his medical. He's in China. He's on preseason. He's in preseason camp, and they'll have to figure that bit out. But United are looking for a strike today. They went asking Bournemouth for Josh King. Mm. You see what I keep saying. But how do you do sell you, Lukaku you know that, and Alexis know, and go and buy Josh come, King? Let me give you a backstory. Do you know that Ole promised Josh King many years ago that? If to he, make him a United if player. If he only gets the job uh, to coach United, he'll bring him back. Because Josh King is a United Academy yeah. player. See, these are the things I keep talking about. I worry no more. I worry. I worry. <laughs> <laughs> so, well. so, 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 yeah. Um, United have done their bit. Congrats to them. I mean, as a man United fan, I'm delighted at least some thinking is happening. We need more thinking in that team. Now, we'll not miss penalties again. Oh, Charlie. We'll not miss penalties again. Rattra and Matia off penalty duties. Hey. Broom Reba. Have you seen Bruno Fernandez taking penalty before? Like, <laughs> like Jorginho. Jorginho lent it from him. Oh, <laughs> <you know>. <laughs> 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 Christopher, I'm I'm in the post. Christopher is doing a sequence. Doing no, give it. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Okay. Friends, talk to us about Cedric Suarez to How Arsenal. about Bruno? Oh, you want to talk about Bruno? Okay, please. Have your, have your, have your take. Bobodino, what do you know? No, have, you, have your take on Bruno. He should tell us about Chelsea. For example, first of all, mm -hmm. I'm just happy that when I told Christopher 
that the donkey that was cutting Bruno from Lisbon to Manchester had muscle pool and that he should pray. Me, I should pray. Anyway, he came here on, and he hold prayed. On, hold on, let me let, let me just say something. So the update is that it looks like United are really serious with Odion Igalo. Some some people are reporting Odion Igalo is currently on three hundred thousand pounds a week in China. Mm. United are willing to pay a hundred thousand out of that, while uh, his team Shanghai Shenhua uh, pays the rest. So it's so, a loan move. Yeah, it's a six-month loan move. United need their body in attack, so. Yeah. That's these are some of it the stories so that are popping up. The United have got between now and 11 p.m. if they will do this deal. I'm Gallo, I'm coming in to enrich my CV and then back to China to take my money. You have one you see, whole month. Is it? And this is a the yep, That's what you see. The what moment they, they sign this plan, you wait. Benjamin, say Haaland will come home. You wait. When they finish signing this player, Christopher will come and tell us. He's another so tomato Daniali. Odio <laughs> Nigalo, like. <laughs> <laughs> tomato Daniali. <laughs> tomato Kakus <laughs> Daniali. Oh! Odio Nigalo, that we all know. Hmm. And that's the thing. You see, the, the, you see, you see. I wish that we had the audio from January 2019 when Man United signed Alexis Sanchez. The things Christopher Nimli said about Alexis Sanchez. Have one year down the lane. Do you, hold do you on. Have hold have on. I have problem. <laughs> I have pro- big problem. Go ahead. One year down the lane. Where is Alexis Sanchez? So the United fans, I am here to tell you, anything Christopher said about Bruno Fernandes, that he's the tomato cacus Daniali. I didn't say cacus. I said cacus. Cacus. Daniel. It's a biological name. <laughs> you must get it right. Please. Tomato Cocus Danieli. Danieli. You have to drive. Danieli. <laughs> with, em- with, with, with emphasis. The sweetness in the you must mention it with emphasis. Tomato Cocus Danieli. Medasi, medasi. Okay. <laughs> we'll be here. When he turns into Okro Cocus Danieli, <laughs> we will be here. So, me, I'm telling you. Don't worry. <laughs> Take it with a pinch of salt because when it slips down the wrong side, you will remember that I told you. That's when it becomes Okrokokus Danieli. We will be here. So I'm just saying that while Christopher can rejoice, and he has a right to rejoice over Bruno Fernandez and all that, it's okay. But my United should not think that right now, hold on, that right now, Bruno Fernandez, like Christopher said, it's all of a sudden. The solution to all their problems. He is not going to do a Virgil Van Dyke to this Man United team. Mm. He won't come in there and everything is all right all of a sudden. It's not going to happen. This same United team will still be depending on Luke Shaw. They will still be depending on Matic. They will still be depending on one matter for results. Bruno alone won't change anything. So for this team, to be better for United to finish in the top four, they need more than Bruno Fernandes. Mm. So don't let Christopher deceive you. Are not Bashwai, United are not better than any of the teams in the top Bashwai, four right now. Why he will keep you in the top four? But why? <laughs> you don't. You see, that's the that's why you are that's that's why. That's the name Bashwai. Bashwai. That's why you are mistaken. So far this season, Bashwai hasn't contributed to Chelsea's top four ambitions. Abraham is head. Don't worry. Kawari, Kawari, Kawari. So it's not going to happen. It's all I want to say. I good signing, good player. I'm not going to sit here and say that he's not a good player. No, that would be very unfair. He's a good player. Sorry, the crude door of the gold candy. Is he healed? Why he's he's fit? That he healed? He's fit. He's fit. They are both. They are both fit. Let me just let me just quickly run you through the transfers. But no, Ben. Hold on. Igalo update. Yeah. Hey, Nana, you turn yourself into a Chinese correspondent. No, 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 I have two things to say. One, the most dramatic transfer story of this window goes to Cedric Bakambu. 
Oh, Charlie. <laughs> Cedric Bekambu's story that, is that a amazing. phenomenal story. That is amazing. So if you missed out, here's the story. <laughs> Cedric Bekambu plays in China. Yep. Move yeah. from uh, Villarreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know him, Congolese player. He's playing. They are in preseason right now. All the Chinese club are in preseason. They are in preseason in Hong Kong. <laughs> That's where they are. <laughs> now, Basil, he gets a call. His agent gets a call from Eric Abidal, sporting director of Barcelona, that they are interested in his services. This guy moves to, I think, Singapore. He, he needs two flights to get to Barcelona. He gets on the... Oh, they're in Japan, sorry. They're in Japan. He gets on the first pl- flight to Singapore. At Singapore airport, waiting for his connecting flight to Barcelona, he gets another call from Eric Abidal. Abidal says, Barcelona said they are no longer interested in you. Oh! So, he didn't get on that last flight to Barcelona. <laughs> he had to book another flight back. and immediately turn around all the way back to Tokyo. So, this guy, if he's any other player, it's almost a, a dream move for a player who played in Spain before. Barcelona is a big deal, right? So, he goes back to Japan and the first thing he does is get on Twitter. <laughs> and then he tweets at Transfer Market, which is... Like this avenue that keeps track of all the players and their movement. And he says transfer market should change his current club to almost, almost Barcelona. Barcelona. <laughs> 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 and then, and then tra- transfer, Classic stuff. And transfer market come and reply the tweet with a screenshot of their edits of his bio. And they write there on under his current club almost barcelona yeah oh my goodness Lovely and, stuff. but it's good that he took it in a good way um but um you know some of these things it can tell you that sometimes the players actually care more about the transfers than the money because he's earning big money but he's seen the so uh, you know they always say that football these days about the money it's about the money but in this situation you can clearly tell that the player desperately wanted to go and play for barcelona he saw that it was a dream that was crushed under the most bizarre circumstances. How Barcelona lost interest halfway into his flight to Barcelona, only Eric Abidal and his Barcelona team knows. Other than that, I think that the winner of the transfer market goes to Cedric Bacambo. The, the other funny story too has to do with Barcelona. Yesterday, they, they uh, went to Everton with 100 million euros yes. for Richard Lisson and Everton said, please, go back with your money. So that's the lowdown. Everton uh, is re- yeah, rejecting um, 100 million for Richarlison. Richarlison. Yeah. Is that ever a transfer oh. window where Kevin uh, Kevin Prince Barton doesn't move? Oh my goodness. He's moving goodness. again. He's going to Besiktas. He's having medicals. Hmm. <laughs> Bra Kevin. Uh, but let's talk. Uh, Nimli, let's talk about Duncan. Alfred yeah, Duncan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Loan move from yeah. Sassuolo yeah. to Fiorentina. Yeah. Okay. Is that a good move or not, coach? Bigger team, obviously. More traditional team. Yeah. I I I think. Um, He's been in and out of the young man for the past um, two seasons. Mm. One moment it is Roman, the next moment it is Say AC Milan. AC Milan, the next moment <laughs> is Florentina. And uh, I spoke to him, I think about a week ago, mm-hmm. where I was trying to find out from him why he was not playing. And he said he's pulled his hamstring a bit and he'll be out for close to three weeks. So. This morning, a little bit of when I started hearing the news that mm-hmm. it's likely he'll move to Fontina on loan, not because Sassolo don't want him. Sassolo themselves were very reluctant in letting him go, but the move is such that uh, it is to pave the way for something big at the end of the season. It is to because Sassolo are charging a certain amount of money, and the people at, at Fontina believe that. Uh, they want to bring him on board, see whether he can make the impact that deserving of that money that Bas- that Sassolo is, 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 is actually hoping for. So wait and see. He's a very good player. He knows the Italian league very, very well. Fontina, obviously, a much more bigger, bigger team than Sassolo. And these are the sort of things we want to see our Ghanaian players play for. Because surely we want the Black Stars to be at the next can in Cameroon. Go win it, if possible. We want to be in Qatar 2022. And for me, surely, I think it is a good move. He will definitely stamp his authority in that Florentina midfield. And and, and, and I wait to see. I hope 
that he's uh, once the move has gone through, it mm-hmm. means he's been pass fit, free of that hamstring problem. Yeah. And I can't wait to see him. I'm, I'm hopefully I'll see what I can get in touch with him and see whether he'll be playing against Juventus tomorrow because mm. they're playing Juve yeah. tomorrow. <coughs> Is th- these are the sort of games you want to watch a Ghanaian play in. So yeah. yes, it's a good move. It's a move I would don't come Any any step that mm. is bigger than that of Sassolo. That would again guarantee you playing time. time. Yeah, I'm all for that. Let, so. let, let, let me just update listeners on a few completed transfers. So Emre Chan yes. moved from to Juventus, Juventus to Dortmund on loan. Mm. Aston Villa have been busy. Now they've gotten Danny Drinkwater from Chelsea on loan. Mm. And they've acquired Pepe Reina from AC Milan. Yes. Yeah. Also on loan. So Aston Villa definitely making some serious moves in there. Let's move to another team. AFC Bournemouth have not made any January signing. No, Meanwhile, they've limited. let um, five players go out on loan. So, yeah. um, that's Arsenal, really Arsenal have also brought in Cedric Suarez yeah. and yep. uh, Mari, the defender from Flamengo. Yep. So, you you can tell that Mikel Arteta is trying to find the problem areas mm-hmm. and trying to see. And I think it's at least six months is a good time to watch a player and yeah. decide on whether yeah. you want to take him you know, on a full-time deal. Um, or, Tariq, or Tariq Lamte has moved from Chelsea, uh, Chelsea to Brighton on uh, he's moved. I think that's a permanent move. And then there's Aaron Moy also from Huddersfield to yeah. Brighton. So that's what Brighton has been doing. Let's move down uh, the list a little. Burnley uh, have brought in Henry Ogumbi from Manchester City and Josh Brownhill from Bristol City. Move down the list and you have Chelsea. No uh, acquisition. But, but <laughs> they, they managed to let a few players go. So uh, Chelsea fans are not too happy. They signed... Uh, friend said was a guy's name. We signed nobody new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe people actually fell for that. People thought you were talking about something. Crystal Palace brought in Cheng Tosun and Scott Banks uh, into their team. And then you go to Everton. Um, they also did not really make any January signing. You go to uh, a team like Leicester City. No January signing. They let a lot of players leave their club instead. Liverpool. Um, Minamino from... Uh, Salzburg Takumi. and yeah, Charlie Takumi Minamino. See, the name sounds like a blood tonic. What's the name of a blood tonic? Minamino blood tonic. Charlie, he's coming to add blood to the team. Joe Hardy also from Brentford uh, was acquired by Liverpool. You go down um, the list. Manchester City. They had a couple of departures, no arrivals in there. Yeah, for Angelino, them. Christopher yeah. Nimli, your friend yeah. Angelino. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to. He's going to RB Leipzig. Charlie, yes. but that guy's a decent player. I like yeah, he's him. Gone on, he's a really decent player. And the Man United, of course. Nathan Bishop, yeah, the goalkeeper from South End United, and Bruno Fernandez yeah, yeah. from Sporting Lisbon. United fans are happy, Charlie. They might get Bassa. And then you have um, Newcastle. Newcastle have been busy, you know. So Newcastle have brought in Nabil Ben Taleb from Schalke on loan. Um, they have Valentino Lazaro from Inter Milan on loan. Danny, Danny Rose. Rose from Tottenham also on loan, and then there's Stan Flaherty from Arsenal. So and there was a there was a there was an offer from Celtic for Christian Achu. Yeah, and a Achu up, yes for a long move, uh, but Achu decided he didn't want to go to Scotland, so you, he wanted to stay oh, and fight yeah, for his position oh, at Newcastle. So. I choose move is off. Um, he is and going to stay at Newcastle and see where yeah. it takes him. And, and talk uh, about Celtic, the some, some reports are saying that uh, it looks like they've backed Victor Wanyama on loan. Ooh. You know, he used to play for them. Yep. So I, I'm sure that's something that will develop over over, over the, the coming out. Charlie Norwich City make wild. They brought in how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 players in January alone. Yeah, so um Sam Beram is in there, uh Joseph Dermit is in there, Atimaya, uh Charlie Gilmore, Charlie still muli muli, but they'll take it like <laughs> but Benjamin uh, uh, it now my time to provide an update on audio yeah, Nigal. I'm looking at this tweet from John Cross, Rama Osman's boss. Yep. He says Igalo was booked on a flight out of Shanghai yesterday morning. Mm-hmm. But the flight didn't take off because of coronavirus. Ooh. The deal looked off. Is now firmly back on, but he's still in China. So, so hmm. the if the flight still doesn't take off because of coronavirus, United me not. <laughs> but there will be no the deal. That they, he can do the medical and come club. Le- and, and join the club and later. Join, you know. 
Spread so friends who stop spreading panic, uh, stop spreading uh, panic. But the virus is in the hospital. Better they panic if they don't get. <laughs> and you see, and, and you see, and you see, and the truth. But didn't Odion Igalo reject Barcelona last summer? A shock. So why is he going to United? A struggling United. There's only one reason. He's running away from coronavirus, and he's seeing United as an avenue to do it. Don't think you are getting a player. This is convenience for him. It's your problem. <laughs> if United bring mole mole players, you should be happy. We said Igalo come and play for us for the next how many games Six do you months. have left? Is it 14, 15 more games mm-hmm. in the Premiership? United, of course, still in the Europa yep. Cup. United, of course, still in the FA Cup. So <laughs> maximum, maximum number of games, not more than 25. Mm. Maximum. If United were to go all the way to go and win the Europa Cup, yep. not more than 25. So come and play for the next 25 games, and then you go. Then the main architects will start coming. Utale. Jadim Sancho. Mm. Sancho, Sancho is going to Chelsea. Forget more. Kulibali. <laughs> Kulibali. Kulibali, Chelsea. Yeah, Justice Blade, too. Look, <laughs> look, 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 let me tell you something. That day I told you something about that Sancho move. It will come down to money. Hmm. Nobody in England rock shoulders with us when it comes. Unless we say we, we don't want. It's that San- is, that, your, is your is club it, still that attractive? An, what? He's an English boy. Is your club still that attractive? No, no. Let anyway, me tell you more something. attractive it, than Liverpool no, and Manchester let me City. Tell you something. When it comes to the team that will build the English talent, for years it's been Manchester United. Mm. And for now, and the English boys themselves are aware that they are even called and told that if you want to build your English career, go to United. If you take the Liverpool captain, what is the name? Hendo. Jordan Henderson. Henderson. In that starting 11, Alex Arnold, how many English boys do you have there? Nobody. You understand? But Sancho will come home. Oh, Madison. So, Nimli, you are implying <laughs> that. Oh, oh, well, I'm forgetting about Madison. Oh, Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Next is in Anyway, to- talking about people, China, and all of that, Yannick Carrasco mm. has gone mm. to Atletico Madrid. On loan. No, mm. up until the end. Of Atletico Madrid, I. Officially a confused club. I told you. I, I told you they are a team that lack direction. You don't know. Yeah, I, I told you that the, uh, it both club and manager need a change. Yep. Yeah, they have told you people. Yeah. Because really, Simeone, really he doesn't seem club. to be improving this athlete. They are. See, I think they 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 they've reached yes. Because yeah, right now, right. what's their motivation to win the league? He's done it. They almost impossible in the midst of Barcelona and Real Madrid. They've reached two Champions League finals. He's lost both of them. They're not playing any better football than before. In, uh, in fact, they're actually worse than they were uh, in the times they won the league. So it's it almost seems as if uh, Atletico Madrid at this point in time are uh, they 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 they're no longer getting better. And I think that what could do both manager and, and Simeone himself it's not like he's doing anything extraordinarily better than what he's done before. He could use a change, but I think that what's happening is that both club and manager are afraid of the change. They're afraid of what could happen in the future because they like where they are right now. And where they are right now is consistent Champions League football every season, always in the mix. But there has to reach a point where a club will feel with a new stadium, uh, you know, and, and, and such a huge backing from what they have from Wanda. You think that their ambition should be much more than just being also runners. Yeah. And right now, that's what they are. And to be more than also runners right now i think they need they could use a change and simeone himself could challenge himself a little bit more there was a time where he was needed in argentina to become the argentina argentina national team team coach he needs to come that's a place that could do well for his for his style of football in fact Mm -hmm. which is very physical it will do well for his reputation if he succeeds Uh, you know so and and i I think he has the temperament to succeed in a place like england so he could use the change atletico could use the change Diego Simeone has built this house to a point, right? I think he has given Atletico enough belief for them to say that we are a big team. We are not afraid of Real Madrid and Barcelona. We can challenge them. Where they are now, when I look at the kind of quality they have in their team, I think they need somebody to move them on. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot have Joao Felix 
and Abba Omarata, and all these Thomas Lehmann, and all these exciting players, and our own Thomas Party. Thomas Party, and still let them be playing running into the ground type of football. We are defending like we are crazy people. No, Griezmann saw it and he was tired. I think that it's high time they moved it on. Somebody, you see, because see, Atletico are in a good place. Why Real Madrid lack a lot of heavy quality? Yeah. Barca are trying to find themselves. It's an opportunity to build a team that is strong enough and can push for a title. I'm really surprised. That they are still keeping Diego Paolo Simeone, and it's I, I don't know, I, it's just not, it's just not working. Daniel, not talk working. to me about Nicolas Opoku from Udinese to Amiens in France. Just a quick update: Kevin Prince bought his loan from Fiorentina to Besiktas. That's done. So done deal. Yes. Yeah, okay, so KP is gone to Besiktas. Uh, hopefully, he should do well there. Nicolas to Amiens. Very important, and this is. This cuts across when we are talking about all Black Stars players. It's important for them to get playing time. He was hardly getting minutes in Udinese. When he came on, he wasn't too impressive. And it's 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 good to go to a place where you know and you are guaranteed that you'll be given time, you'll be given playing time, time to play. Even if he has a bad game, you're very sure that he he will get more time Is to Is that improve. a permanent move? No, it's a loan deal. Loan deal. It's a loan deal. So he has being a loan deal, he also has another chance to re-impress Udinese for them to bring him back and for him to come back and, and, and make a statement because he's he's a good defender very strong he's he's cut out to play in the Serie I just don't know why it hasn't worked out for him but this is a good deal French League is, is, is a place where most of our players really thrive you've seen um, Barbara Mann went there to, to rebuild his career we've seen Waris over there a couple of seasons doing well so yeah it's a good move for him next six months get enough playing time and and it helps. It's a win-win for the player and, and, and for the club and, and for country also. So a win-win for the player, club and country. There's Premier League action tomorrow. Let me just quickly run through the uh, lineup of matches. We have some really good games coming up tomorrow. Heated, heated matches uh, in the Premier League tomorrow. Coach okay. needs to repeat that. So I'm... Um, uh, yeah. I don't know. Some, Breaking some news. news. Some news. Sorry, sorry. Some news uh, coming through. Some reporters are reporting that United have confirmed the loan deal for Odeon Igalo. I don't know. Woo! Keep an eye on for the next Odeon, Odeon. So Odeon Igalo possibly could be lining up for Manchester United before we all yeah, know. So, so Perry Potts, it looks like if this is properly confirmed, mm-hmm. some portals are speculating that he could join the team on Monday. Ah, lovely stuff. Let me just quickly run through a couple of the other deals. So Majid Waris from Porto to Strasbourg. We spoke about that last week. Ropa Pamensa. Remember him? He used to play for Interallies. He's moved from Nashville um, SC to Pittsburgh River Hounds. So that's what's going on with Ropa Pamensa. And then Tariq Lamte, I already said, has moved from Chelsea to Brighton. If you look at this weekend's lineup of Premier League action, there's Leicester City versus Chelsea at the King Power. Very tasty encounter. There's Liverpool versus that is tomorrow, eh? Yeah. First it's game, early kick off show. No I'll be here on time. <laughs> <laughs> there's Manchester United versus Wolves. There's Burnley versus Arsenal. And then there's a cracker. Ojam takes his Tottenham team to go and face All Manchester tomorrow. City. No, that's on Sunday. That's that's, that's yeah, Sunday's yeah, big yeah, game. Yeah, that one's on Sunday. Yeah. Your team is playing Wolves. I'll be watching that one. I will also be here. It's only about Damatrari once we have him checked. Will you have him checked? Bruno. Bruno. Ah, no. Why not? Bruno is a defender too. Fuck the yard, see. I'm not shot no check. Yeah, I mean. Ah, no more. Kaya <laughs> de. Bruno Fernandez. <laughs> Fuck the yard. You've not seen his booty. <laughs> Left and right. That is the beauty. Yards. 40 yards. 40 yards. Can't bat no check. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> ah, no more. <laughs> So let me just quickly go through the other games. These are the games. The games I just mentioned. Leicester versus Chelsea. Liverpool, Southampton. Man City, Wolves. Burnley, Arsenal. Tottenham, Man City. Um, these are the games that will be live on City 97.3. The other games uh, to be played. There's Bournemouth versus Aston Villa. There's Crystal Palace versus Sheffield United. And then there's Newcastle, Norwich. There's Watford versus Everton. There's West Ham versus Brighton as well. So uh, a host of really good games to come. Burnley, Arsenal, Tottenham, Manchester uh, City. Guys, I'll take concluding thoughts from you and then we will call it a show. 
Um, I'd like to give a shout to um, Apeje. Apeje came to see me during this week. He brought me some nice goodies. Nice it is. Yeah, so Apeje, <laughs> wherever you are, massive shout to you. Is Apeje male or female? It's male. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah, I don't know. I have a female friend called Apeje. Kwejo Apeje. I have a female friend called Apeje. Apeje, bless you and bless your husband. Kwejo Apeje, if you're a girl too and you have been called Kwejo on so you know yourself. <laughs> they tell me showing us that we, we, we don't, don't need to, we don't need to we see your text message. You don't need explanation. If you could have your you are a girl and you are calling me a boy on the show. But why would I? Why? We, we don't know. I we, no, we, we are sports journalists, so we are we are very fine. The other thing I'll say is that since I'm a man of honor, I yeah. said if Bruno Fernandez signed for United, I'd buy Christopher Nimli lunch. So I'd buy. Oh. <laughs> Nimli, Nimli, will you take me along? Get more shenanigans. I should do what? Take me along. <laughs> oh why? I prayed for the donkey. Let me let me is it you have, we have just one more minute to go. Is it is the birthday of 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 one of my very very good, something I wish this morning. Yeah? Very very good female friends. Mm. I mean she's been a long time good friend from our days at for peace, Prince of Peace. Delali Amebo, who she's now Mrs. Delali. I don't know. Mm. Today happens to be her birthday. Mm. She's listening to the program. Mm. Delali, this is Chris. Chris says, happy, happy, happy birthday. Yeah. I know the way Mrs. Adonu do her things. I know the way Mr. Adonu <laughs> will do his things. Make sure that you will be properly it's okay. served. It's okay. It's, so o- it's okay. Enjoying the birthday. It's okay. Mr. Adonu. You have taken all the time. Please. <coughs> My little girl was not well. Oh, yesterday, and I took her to the hospital, mother lab, and there were some brilliant people at the lab there who, the moment they saw me, they were like, ah, no more, it's Chris, no more. I said, yeah, I turned to my girl for me. Pa, 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 na, ta, 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 to Bismarck, to Ernestine Ousu and Christian Ousu of mother lab, mother lab hospital yeah. in the laboratory. Those are wonderful people. So Coach Chris has taken Daniel Fence and Fence shout out type, so they won't have any shout outs. Yeah, I don't have any shout outs. Alright, so a happy birthday to our colleague Abuna Ousu Nyamese. So yeah. Yeah. on a Friday, yeah, Friday. she should stop. Charlie, do you know what I was telling her when she was going? Oh, well, She's going to do Mira. Mira me do me do fear. Mira. And she did say and and, and, and and you know you know her, I think her husband is a man United fan. Yeah. yeah. Oh new Bruno Banner. Oh it's about Popo. About Popo about Popo. So it's gonna say Ohima and Nanabi Rahim. Ben Jamin get here here. Coach because they were namely Nathan Kwa, Fred Tutahi, Daniel Kratzi, big shout outs from out here. Sports Panorama, keep your dial right here on City 97.3. So proudly brought to us by Betway and also by DSTV. Same time next week, we'll be back. But keep doing the listening. <laughs>